Hello beloveds, this is Steph Parasha, Divine Light, coming out to you from New Zealand, Aotearoa. I've just come down on my Sunday morning walk. It's about 8.30 in the morning and I got down here and I just thought, oh my goodness, I need to do my video down here today in nature. Um, it was just, it's so beautiful. I mean, this beach has many colours, many faces, many moods and yeah this is tide is quite far out let's go on the walk um so the tide is out there's quite a few boats out there's not a, a much wind at all so it's awesome it's just so peaceful down here i wanted to bring you some beautiful peace and calm energy from aotearoa it's been a really busy week it's been a pretty crazy intense energetic week there's been a lot going on for everyone it's been a lot of fear and anxiety and overthinking and situations and energy's flying Whew. so thank you Leo full moon for that um, you can see those boats in the distance I'm not fishing sorry about my shadow there's a shadow somewhere not many people walking yet I think I've, I would have come a bit earlier but I just wanted to so get a little bit organized before I came down have a coffee so I did do a little bit of a tune in before I actually came on my walk because what I was going to do was come on my walk and go back and do a reading for Twin Flames but when I got down here I was like okay this is probably what I'm going to share and I did a little tune in on what people have made a little hut there um, what is the energy at the moment and I what I got a sense of after I wrote a few things down and there is it's around anxiety anxious attachment versus avoidant attachment the push-pull dynamic the fear of rejection how to love inside of that and where do we find the balance between freedom and commitment and um, control you know on one end you've got control wanting to control the situation that anxiety um, pulls in a feeling of needing to control the situation because you feel out of control it feels like that's the anxiety you're feeling like you're being rejected in some way or an example would be that maybe your partner is with someone else or wants to be with someone else or is rejecting you and your fear of losing the, the partner and the fear of the rejection of the pain of that leads you to wanting to do silly things mostly because we've written out then in our emotional brain I've just got a lady walking so I'm just going to zoom past her excuse me lady I'm sorry I'm gonna zoom past you there we go some of you may not have even caught her beautiful in the distance there too out to I'm sitting standing in the North Island and just down in the distance there we can see the South Island in the shadow Carpety Island so yeah so that is one of the biggest parts of the twin flame journey is when we are dealing with this dynamic and in my situation my twin is the avoidant well I say he is but I'm probably avoidant too and I am the anxious so I tend to in relationships um, be can be a bit clingy and needy and anxious so, and then if I, do, I feel threatened in any way or I feel like they're going to pull away from me or reject me, I can sense that and so I'll pull away first in a really big way. I will just cut myself off. So, yeah, so this is a really big part of the Twin Flame journey. I know a lot of us are feeling this and it's been brought up for me this week in dream time actually. Because I don't have a scenario at the moment, in my life where I'm in a relationship because quite frankly I'm I'm a chicken I'm too scared to get into a relationship and I really 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 need to look after myself so I'm doing a lot of self-love and a lot of inner child work I actually um, declined an invitation last night which was a really good invitation you know it was going into the city 
go out to an 80s night dancing with some friends and rented a hotel room and basically it was paid for and so yeah um, and I just kept thinking that sounds really good but my body just didn't want to let me go <laughs> I was feeling very heavy and just needed and when I tune into it I just really heard my body say I am exhausted I'm so tired I need to rest and I can't handle going out and drinking alcohol and no, I can't do that, actually, no. Last time I drank alcohol, I felt very, very sick. I feel very sick drinking alcohol, I don't know about that, how you're feeling with it, guys. Um, yeah, so I had a quiet night because I wake up in the morning and I walk two minutes down the road and I'm here. I don't want to be in the middle of the city, um, being an empath, soaking up all the city energy. <laughs> I'm just feeling stressed being in the city. City energy, Whew. Yeah, so, so really feeling that self-care, uh, always coming into that. Another part of it is letting go. If you feel, if you're more of an ex... Okay, so this is what I'm getting told. This is the download. I'm sorry, I've got a lady coming towards me, so I'm actually probably just going to turn you guys towards maybe the sun. No, that's not going to be nice. We'll keep on the um, sea, because there's a lady coming towards me. I'll make sure that her identity is private. You won't want to end up on my YouTube video, I'm pretty sure. So, um, okay, where was I? So there's a remedy. So there's a middle way with always. So that's another big part of the Twin Flame experience is balance. So balance, how do we balance out the extreme polarities? Sorry, excuse me. Um, the extreme polarities of um, anxious attachment on one side and avoidant attachment on the other. The need for freedom and the need for control. So, see both sides, see where do we come to the middle. So, I, I had done this uh, uh, piece of paper, you might want to do it too. So, see yourself and, and what you do, whether you go from one side to the other in the relationship. And what's, how do we come to the middle ground? How do we find the remedy for both of those actions? So I, I did a big uh, love heart in the middle, love. Now the first word I got was commitment. And I know that those avoided attaches um, hate that word. <laughs> um, they really do. And I know I have a bit of a fear of, I've got a part of a, my being which is avoided. It does not sound that much either because of abuse in relationships. And I like my freedom as well. So then in the same space, you've also got space, you've got respect, you've got truth, you've got trust, you've got honesty, so you've got all these other important things as well, communication. So all of the above coming into a space where, yes, in a relationship you do have to make. Commitment is important because those of anxious attachers just cannot handle things when it's too free and there's no commitment. And I know as a single mum, I know a lot of you out there will have experienced just the feeling of being let down, disappointed by, by someone in your life. In my case, my ex-husband and the father of my child. I'm sorry to say this on social media, it's not. But the feeling of feeling let down, but disappointed. And Sorry, that did sound a bit blamey there, I just realised. <laughs> Sorry guys, catch myself. So, um, you know, so, oh, okay, so there's fear there. There's a, maybe some issue there. Maybe there's a, a wound there. So here we have our wounds, and amongst those that need healing, that we can have all these things. And that's what we're working towards as Twin Flames, whose main purpose of being here on this earth is to work and heal the relationship sector of our world. So I'm just going to do it around and then I'm probably going to finish up guys um, and maybe I might do a little reading for you which I will do separately to this video because I'm doing it on my phone I don't know how to stop and start and so we've just met the river now, which you can go across, 
I don't really want to disturb it. Actually, these weren't really seagulls, I'm sorry. They were some other kind of bird in the nesting, probably. Feeding or something. Having a bird gathering. A bird party. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for listening. I'll come back uh, soon with a little reading. Lots of love. Bye for now.